Okay, so I had to get this video made quickly because Courier arrived with my latest camera body. Now, as you know, on this channel, I've been talking loads about older Fujifilm cameras and lenses. I think, and maybe you agree with me, that the older Fujifilm lineup is some of their best looking lineup in terms of output. It may not be the sharpest, but I'm not looking for the pin sharp lenses. I'm looking for lenses with character, lenses with atmosphere, camera bodies that can shoot looking a bit more like a film camera. So I'm looking for not the kind of 50, 60 megapixel pin sharp HD looking image, which frankly for me, I just think gets a little bit boring. I'm looking for photos that have just got that kind of atmosphere and character in them. And so I've been using loads, the X-E2 and looking at the X-Trans 2 sensor and enjoying that and it's so film-like and it's beautiful. So I ordered a new camera and let's have a look and see what it is. Is it he, she? I know trains are she's, aren't they? I'm not, not sure what camera bodies are. He or she? Let me know what you think. Um, anyway, let's have a look and see what this is. Got this from MPB and uh, £159. What? Okay, a camera body for £159. Now, before I open this, if you were to go online and buy a new compact camera, I don't know, say a Canon or something, the quality of lens and image you would get from a £159 new compact would be just, ah, yeah. But this, £159, I'm very excited about this one. They even wrap it like an old, like a Fuji camera box. It's quite clever. Um, so, let's find it. We have got, uh, it's actually wrapped really well. So in here, lead. I'm assuming this is the, yeah, the old um, Fuji style charger. That's just a bit of wrapping. And this in here, hey, look at this. Fuji Film XE1. So this, that my glasses on, but I can just about see it. This is first generation Fuji Film sensor. I'm so excited about this because I've I love the, the second generation sensor. I think it's really like my old film cameras. So I'm really excited to see what this first generation one is like because I keep getting messages on my channel telling me that. Some people prefer the first generation to the second generation. But the problem is, the X-Pro1 was quite slow in autofocus, and so I always thought I wasn't gonna go down that route. Whereas the X-E1, well, I'm gonna find out how good this autofocus is, and just how good the, in, in some ways, I don't really care about autofocus on this, I don't really care about how good the EVF is, all those things, I'm not looking for the, that. If I wanted that, I'd go and get an X-E4. What I'm looking for is, can I get proper film-like JPEGs out of this camera and how will they compare to my X-E2? So I'm gonna go and take loads of pictures with this and I'm gonna use this lens here, which feels like the right lens for it, which is the 27 mil. So we'll just get that on. It's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go away, take loads of pictures on this camera and I'm gonna see, see what it's like, how good it is. Um, yeah, and I'll come back and show you these pictures. And then at some point I'll do a comparison between this one and the XE2, and we'll see what those two early sensors are like, and actually find out if there is much of a difference between the X-Trans 1 and X-Trans 2 sensor, and whether they do, you know, whether there is a whole difference in that. So it's gonna be exciting. Um, yeah, so watch this space. Yeah. See you soon.